This overlooked investing strategy can set you up for financial success. And the best part about it is that when you go to purchase multifamily properties, you'd only have to put three and a half percent down. It's crazy how many people avoid arguably the best way to get started in real estate investing and potentially eliminate all of your living expenses. This strategy is called house hacking. So let's dive into what house hacking is, how you can only put three and a half percent down, the true cost of multifamily house hacking, and how house hacking can make you a million. And if this video brings you any value, I'd greatly appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button. It would help out my channel a ton. House hacking is purchasing a primary residence with the intent to generate income from it. This can be done with a one to four unit residential property. Now, I personally think this is more effective when you do a multifamily house hack, but you can do it with single family where you would rent out bedrooms in your house and have common spaces like the living room, bathrooms, and kitchen. But by house hacking residential multifamily properties, two to four units, you essentially live in one of the units and rent out the others and that generates enough income to offset or eliminate a lot of your living expenses. And this is the exact strategy that my wife and I used when we house hacked our four unit apartment complex about three years ago. We still own it today and it is hands down the best financial decision that we have ever made and we are currently still making money from that property. The whole point of house hacking is to eliminate most or all of your living expenses while also investing into a rental property that in the future you can move out of and then rent that property out fully so that you can generate income and build wealth from. And the best way to buy a multifamily house hack is by using an FHA 3.5% down loan. The FHA loan stands for a federal Federal Housing Administration loan where you can purchase a one to four unit residential property with three and a half percent down instead of having to put a lot more down. The great thing about this is that it works on a two, three, or four unit multifamily residential property. So you can invest into a multifamily property with the future intent to rent it out and have it as a rental. As good as this sounds, let's jump into the requirements of an FHA loan so you have a full understanding of how it works. So as of September of 2023, here are the requirements when it comes to an FHA loan. With an FHA loan, it has to be a primary residence to where you live in it for at least one year. You can purchase up to a one to four unit residential property. There's a debt to income ratio that typically requires a lower debt to income than a 43%. You have to have a credit score of 580 or higher if you're doing the three and a half percent down. It is mandatory that there will be PMI, which stands for private mortgage insurance. This is an additional cost that mortgage companies add on to since you're putting such low money down. And lastly, there are loan limits when it comes to the FHA loan, meaning that they will only loan up to a certain amount of property because they don't want to over leverage. And this is basically for their own safety. Depending on where you live, the FHA loan limit can vary between $472,030 to $1,089,300. And obviously that would be in higher cost areas such as California. The reason that this FHA 3.5% down loan is the best is because it allows you to put such little money down. If you think about it, if you purchase a $300,000 property, you'd only have to put down $10,500 when purchasing this asset. And this asset can in turn end up making you a ton more money. Which leads us into our next section. Now, what is the true cost of house hacking and how much money do you actually save? I think this is extremely important so that people keep their expectations realistic. Let's break this down starting with expenses. Let's say that we're going to purchase a $400,000 property and let's say your principal, interest, taxes, insurance, and PMI all equal $3,200 a month. There are going to be additional expenses such as if the property only has one water meter, that means that you're gonna have to pay for the water, trash, and and sewer so let's go ahead and put $150 a month towards that and let's say you have a $75 a month cost for pest control for a company to come out and spray consistently that way you don't have any pests in your building on top of that let's say that you hire someone to cut your grass for $150 a month and then you end up having a property manager that manages everything for you so it can be less stressful for you and let's say that the cost of that would be $400 a month. So if we add all of that up, that means that your living expenses for this property would be $3,975 a month. But remember, you bought a four unit apartment complex, so that means that you're going to be living in one of the units and you'll be running out the additional three. And let's say with a purchase price of $400,000, you can conservatively get $1,250 every single month for rent for the additional three units. That means that you're generating $3,000 $750 a month in income from those other three units. 
So do the math with me. So with $3,750 of income generated from this property and the expenses of $3,975 a month, this means that you are only paying $225 a month to live in a home in the United States. Now, obviously you will have a reserves account, like I mentioned before, if you want your Hulu, electric and all that, obviously you will pay additional fees for that. But my question to you is, can you find anywhere else to live in your area for $225? a month. Odds are you can't because I know I can't, which is why I'm about to lay out the blueprint for you to become a millionaire with house hacking real estate. So if you follow this blueprint, I guarantee that you will become a millionaire through house hacking real estate. It's really not that hard when you think about the math and what's needed in order to become a millionaire. Like I mentioned before, when you house hack and you use a three and a half percent down FHA loan, you'll have to live there for at least one year before moving out. It is a requirement of the FHA loan. After that one year, you're going to move out and with the money that you save from the property and the additional income you're bringing in from your job, you're gonna go ahead and go buy another house hack and rent the unit that you are currently living in in the first house hacking property. So year one, you buy a multifamily house hack for three and a half percent down FHA loan. You live there for a year, you save, let's just say $12,000 from what you would have to spend if you were just going out and renting a place or if you were to buy a single family property and not housing. And you use that $12,000 to purchase another house hack, but with an FHA 3.5% loan, you can only have one at a time. So if you can't refinance out of that loan, then use a 5% down conventional loan and you can have a lot of those loans. So with your new house hack, you'll be putting a little bit more down, 5% down conventional. So currently you own two properties, you're house hacking one of them and you have one that's a complete rental property. Repeat this cycle and in five years, you will own five properties, four of them being complete rental properties and one you are house hacking. And the best thing about it is that all five of these properties are appreciating in value. They're cash flowing positive. They're giving you great tax advantages. And if you pay them off in 30 years, you will 100% be a millionaire. Because if you break down the math, all you would need is each property to be worth $200,000. And if they're all paid off, you have five of them. That means that you have $1 million of net worth. If you want to know how to successfully house hack and build that financial foundation, then you'll want to watch this video next, which is the ultimate guide to house hacking real estate. Happy investing.